Hey what's going on everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War Zombies tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete every Zombies Operator mission for Wraith in Season 3. Wraith is one of the brand new Warsaw Pact Operators that was added into Season 3 of Black Ops Cold War. In order to get Wraith as a playable operator you have to purchase the Season 3 Battle Pass. And keep in mind, in order for you to complete these Operator missions you must be playing as Wraith in Zombies. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in to the first Operator mission. The first Operator mission for Wraith and Zombies requires you to get 250 kills with your loadout weapon. Your loadout weapon is the weapon that you start out with from your creator class when you jump into a game of Zombies. Basically, you can use whatever weapon you want, but I would recommend the Howard, the Gallo, or the M16, or any other weapon that does a lot of damage. Now there is one very important thing that you guys must know about this Operator mission, and I'm not entirely sure if it's a glitch or an intentional feature. But essentially, when you pack a punch your loadout weapon, the progress stops for this Operator mission. Taking a look at the footage here, it says I have over 300 kills, so you would think that the Operator mission would be completed. But upon ending my game and checking the progress on my mission, it says I only have 121 kills with my loadout weapon. And that was right around the time I pack punched my weapon, so pack-a-punching for some reason stops the progress on this operator mission. So I would steer clear of pack-a-punching your loadout weapon. So eventually you will have killed 250 zombies with your loadout weapon and a notification will appear on screen telling you that you've completed the first operator mission for Wraith. Upon completing this operator mission you unlock the Moonlit Monsters calling card. The second operator mission for Wraith and Zombies requires you to get 25 kills with support. Support are these score streaks of Black Ops Cold War zombies and you can craft them at the crafting table using the blue salvage. You can use any kind of support that you want. You can use the death machine, the cruise missile, and the napalm strike, just to name a few. You can also get free support from the assault rounds on Firebase Z. Just walk up to the console and it will give you one free support. So eventually you will have killed 25 enemies with whatever support you decided to use and another notification will appear on screen to tell you that you've completed the second operator mission in Zombies for Wraith. When you complete the second operator mission in Zombies for Wraith, you unlock the Catalyst skin. The third Zombies operator mission for Wraith requires you to find, follow, shoot, and destroy the Ethereal Orb in Outbreak. The Ethereal Orb is a side quest on Outbreak that can appear randomly when you're playing either Golova, Ruka, Alpine, Sanatorium, or Duga. For whatever reason, the icon for where this Ethereal Orb is located is not on the big map, but it does appear on the mini-map, and the icon looks like this. I would recommend using a weapon with a lot of damage, like a Hower or a Gallo, to shoot the orb so that it moves to the next location. Once you've done enough damage to the orb, it will move. The orb will move a total of two times. Make sure you keep up with the orb too, because if you let it get too far, it can despawn. So eventually once you chase the orb to its third and final location and destroy it, another notification will pop up on screen saying that you've completed the third Zombies Operator mission for Wraith. Upon completing the third Zombies Operator mission for Wraith, you unlock the Bad Intentions emblem. The fourth and final Zombies Operator mission for Wraith in Season 3 requires you to kill three elite enemies. As of right now, elite enemies in Black Ops Cold War Zombies consist of the Megatons and the Krasny Soldat, or as I like to call it, the Russian Panzer. The easiest way to do this challenge is to hop in onto a game of Die Maschine. Yes, Megatons do spawn in on Onslaught and Outbreak, but I found it to be way quicker to jump into a normal round-based game of zombies on Die Maschine and kill the Megatons that come with the rounds progressing. Honestly, it really doesn't matter what map you kill the elite enemies on, as long as you're killing three elite enemies. This is just my recommendation. So eventually you will have killed three elite enemies and another notification will show up to tell you that you've completed the fourth and final Zombies Operator mission for Wraith. Once you complete this Operator mission, you unlock the Summer Vibes skin for Wraith. Anyways guys, that's it for this video and I hope it was very straightforward, comprehensive, and to the point. And if it was, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world and I'll see you guys next time.